Good day everyone. For quarter one, week one, we have sets. Set, an organized collection of objects with common characteristics, is called a set. So when we say common, that means the same. So set, share, same characteristics. Example, set of school supplies, things that are used in school or for learning task 1, identify all the possible answers for the statements below. So, for 1, all the provinces in Region 4A. Number 2, numbers in Grade 8. 3, all subjects in Grade 7. Number 4, vowels in the English alphabet. And number 5, 5 animals with 4 legs. So, you are just going to write the elements in each uh, item. Numbers of a set can be described in different ways. So, 1. By definition, such as the set of counting the members of a set. Example, a set of even numbers, that is by definition. Set of odd numbers, that is by definition. Next, number two, by listing each member of a set, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that is by listing. You're going to list all the elements of each set. Next, number three, by set notation, such as primary color. So that is, for example, we have red, yellow, and blue. That are the primary colors. So when we say set notation, you are going to use that symbol on the left and right side of the element. So that is called as braces. Definition of terms. So, a set is a well-defined collection of different objects. Well-defined meaning you can list all the elements given in a set. Next, any objects such as numbers, people, letters of the alphabet, and symbols can make up a set. Next, a subset is a set whose elements are members of another set. So, meaning a subset is just part of a given set. The universal set contains all the elements being considered in a given situation. So when we say universal, it contains or it consists of all the elements. Example number one, given you or the universal set, we have one, two, three. If you are looking for the subset, we have one, two, three. Another is one and two, two, three, one, two, three. And also one three. We also have the symbol uh, braces or the circle with a bar line that is called as a null set. So note a proper subset of set A is a subset of A that is not equal to A. Example number two. U is equal to one three five seven or the odd numbers from one to seven. If a set has one element, then it has 2 raised to 1 is equal to 2 subsets, namely itself and the null set. You just have 2 um, subsets for that. If a set has 2 elements, then it has 2 raised to 2 is equal to 4 subsets. 2 raised to 2 is it means at 2 multiplied by itself 2 times. If a set has 3 elements, then it has 2 raised to 3 is equal to 8 subsets. That is 2 multiplied by itself 3 times. So that is 2 times 2 times 2 which is equal to 8. In general, if a set has m elements, then it has 2 raised to m subsets. You can use that formula in getting the number of subsets of a given set. Example number 2, u is equal to 1, 3, 5, 7. If you are going to list all the subsets of this, we have subset with no elements, which is the null set, that is the symbol. Next, subsets with one element, that is 1, 3, 5, 7. Subsets with two elements, that is 1, 3, 1, 5, 1, 7, 3, 5, 3, 7, and 5, 7. Subsets with three elements, 1, 3, 5, 1, 3, 7, 1, 5, 7, 3, 5, 7. And subsets with four elements, so that is one, three, five, seven. The intersection of sets A and B, denoted by A, intersection B, 
is the set of all elements common to both sets A and B. When we say common, same with set A and B. Example number 3, A is equal to 1, 2, B is equal to 1, 3. If we're going to look for the A intersection B, the answer is 1 because A and B consist of the element 1. So our answer is A intersection B is equal to 1, which is common among set A and set B. Sets with no common elements are called disjoint sets. Example number 4, A is equal to 1, 2, B is equal to 3, 4. The answer for this is now set. This also, this is called as disjoint sets because it has no common elements. The complement of set A, denoted by A prime, is the set of elements that are not in set A but in the universal set. So we have A, 2, 4, 6, 11, 14, and 20, and B is equal to 4, 5, 7, 14, 20, 21, and 23. You're going to get the combination of A and B or called as union, that is called as also the universal set. So A union B is 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 11, 14, 20, 21, 23 without repetition of numbers. So if you go, we are going to get the A prime. So all the elements in A should be cancelled in the universal set or A union B. So we have 2, 4, 6, 11, 14, and 20. We are going to remove that from the universal set. What's left is 5, 7, 21, 23. So that is our final answer. That is our A prime. The cardinality of set is the number of elements contained in a set. So when we say cardinality, you are just going to count the elements inside a set. So give the cardinality of the following. So we have 1, 2, 5. The difference of two sets, written as A minus B, is the set of all elements of A that are not elements of B. In here, you are just subtracting or canceling the elements. So we have A, 2, 4, 6, 11, 14, 20, and B is equal to 4, 5, 7, 14, 20, 21, and 23. So we have to find A minus B. So, we are going to cancel the elements of B in A. So, cancel 4 and then 14 and then 20. What's left with A? We have 2, 6, and then 11. If you have any questions, you can message me through Facebook or in my Facebook page or in my YouTube account. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.